Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about using originality reports in Google Classroom. So originality reports, you sign up for the beta and then every time you create an assignment, you check a box and it will run originality reports. I've hidden the name of the student involved here, but I have two flagged passages. If you see that, then you know you have something that you have to take a look at. The default is no flagged passages and that's usually what I see. So not much to show there, but if there's some sort of issue with not citing or just copying and pasting from the web, you will see that. So let's take a look at what happens. So I will click two flagged passages and it says two here, there's a little button right here that actually you can change it to percentage view. So it's 11% of the content. I don't know how useful that is, but okay. So I'm just gonna go back here. I think that that number two is a little bit more helpful, but anyway, it shows what's in the student's passage and then what's on the web and the link to go see that. It will take you through all of the passages that have a flag. So there's, in this case, there's two. So if I click right here, it will take me to the second. And again, it shows what the student said and what is on the web and the link on the web. And also, take note, it does say no cited or quoted passages. So if the student is copying and pasting, but then you know, cite, you know citing it or quoting it, then that shouldn't be flagged, although there's a little button here to show cited or quoted as well. So anyway, as a teacher, this couldn't be easier. It's so simple and it shows you exactly where it's coming from on the web. So that is really, really nice. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.